With their distinctive wrinkled faces, expressive eyes, and charming personalities, pugs have won the hearts of dog lovers worldwide. Whether you're considering adding a pug to your family or you're already a proud owner, you likely have questions about these lovable little dogs. In this comprehensive guide, we'll answer 33 frequently asked questions about pugs, covering everything from their history and temperament to their health and care needs. What is the origin of the pug breed? Pugs have a long and fascinating history that traces back to ancient China, where they were revered as companions to Chinese emperors. They were later brought to Europe by Dutch traders, where they became popular among European royalty and aristocracy. What is the typical temperament of a pug? Pugs are known for their affectionate, playful, and sociable nature. They thrive on human companionship and are often described as clowns due to their amusing antics and mischievous personality. Are pugs good family pets? Yes, pugs make excellent family pets. They are friendly and gentle with children, get along well with other pets, and are generally adaptable to various living situations. How big do pugs get? Pugs are classified as small-sized dogs. Adult pugs typically weigh between 14 to 18 pounds and stand around 10 to 13 inches tall at the shoulder. What is the average lifespan of a pug? The average lifespan of a pug is typically between 12 to 15 years. However, with proper care and nutrition, some pugs may live even longer. Do pugs shed a lot? Yes, pugs are moderate to heavy shedders. They have short, dense coats that shed year-round, with heavier shedding during seasonal changes. Are pugs easy to train? Pugs are intelligent dogs but can have a stubborn streak, which can make training challenging at times. However, with patience, consistency, and positive reinforcement techniques, pugs can be trained successfully. Do pugs have any common health issues? Like all breeds, pugs are prone to certain health conditions, including brachycephalic syndrome, due to their flat faces, obesity, hip dysplasia, and skinfold dermatitis. Responsible breeding practices and regular veterinary care can help mitigate the risk of these health issues. How much exercise do pugs need? Pugs are relatively low-energy dogs and do not require a lot of exercise. A daily walk or play session in the yard is usually sufficient to keep them happy and healthy. Are pugs good with other pets? Yes, pugs generally get along well with other pets, including cats and other dogs. Early socialization can help ensure they develop positive relationships with other animals. Do pugs snore? Yes, pugs are notorious for their snoring. Their flat faces and short noses make them prone to snoring and other breathing issues, especially when they are overweight or overheated. Are pugs prone to obesity? Yes, pugs can be prone to obesity, especially if they are overfed or not given enough exercise. It's essential to monitor their diet and weight carefully to prevent obesity-related health problems. Are pugs good apartment dogs? Yes, pugs are well-suited for apartment living due to their small size and relatively low exercise needs. However, it's essential to provide them with regular opportunities for outdoor exercise and mental stimulation. Do pugs have sensitive stomachs? Some pugs may have sensitive stomachs and may be prone to digestive issues such as food allergies or intolerances. It's essential to feed them high-quality dog food formulated for their specific needs and to avoid giving them table scraps or foods that may upset their stomach. Do pugs need a lot of grooming? Pugs have short, smooth coats that are easy to maintain. Regular brushing and occasional baths are usually sufficient to keep their coat clean and healthy. It's also important to clean their facial wrinkles regularly to prevent skin infections. Do pugs need to wear clothes? While pugs have a short coat and may appreciate wearing clothes in cold weather, they do not necessarily need to wear clothes for warmth. However, some owners choose to dress their pugs in clothes for fashion or to protect them from the elements. Are pugs good with children? Yes, pugs are generally good with children and enjoy their company. However, it's important to supervise interactions between pugs and young children to prevent accidental rough play or mishandling. Do pugs bark a lot? Pugs can be vocal dogs and may bark to alert their owners of strangers or unusual activities. However, with proper training and socialization, excessive barking can be minimized. Are pugs good guard dogs? While pugs may alert their owners to potential threats with their barking, they are not typically considered good guard dogs due to their small size and friendly nature. Are pugs good with strangers? Pugs are generally friendly and outgoing dogs that get along well with strangers. 
They may greet unfamiliar people with enthusiasm and curiosity. Do pugs need a lot of attention? Yes, pugs thrive on attention and companionship and may become anxious or bored if left alone for long periods. They require plenty of quality time with their owners, including daily walks, play sessions, and cuddle time. How do I choose a reputable pug breeder? When choosing a pug breeder, look for breeders who prioritize the health and well-being of their dogs and puppies. They should conduct health screenings for genetic conditions, provide proper socialization for the puppies, and be transparent about their breeding practices and the lineage of their dogs. Should I get a pug puppy or adult dog? Whether to get a pug puppy or adult dog depends on your lifestyle, preferences, and ability to dedicate time to training and socialization. Puppies require more time and effort in terms of house training and obedience training, while adult dogs may already have some training and may be calmer and more settled. How do I potty train a pug puppy? Potty training a pug puppy requires patience, consistency, and positive reinforcement. Establish a regular schedule for feeding, potty breaks, and bathroom trips outside, and praise and reward your puppy for going potty in the appropriate place. Supervise them closely indoors and be prepared to clean up accidents promptly. Are pugs prone to separation anxiety? Pugs are social dogs that form strong bonds with their owners, so they may be prone to separation anxiety if left alone for long periods. It's essential to gradually acclimate them to being alone, provide them with mental stimulation and toys to keep them occupied, and consider crate training as a way to provide them with a safe space. How do I socialize a pug puppy? Socializing a pug puppy involves exposing them to a variety of people, animals, environments, and experiences in a positive and controlled manner. Start socialization early, ideally between 3 to 12 weeks of age, and gradually expose them to new stimuli while monitoring their reactions and providing plenty of praise and rewards. Are pugs good with cats? Pugs can get along well with cats, especially if they are properly socialized from a young age. However, it's essential to supervise their interactions, especially in the beginning, to ensure they get along and to prevent any potential conflicts. How do I keep my pug cool in hot weather? To keep your pug cool in hot weather, provide plenty of shade and fresh water, avoid exercising them during the hottest parts of the day, and consider using cooling products such as cooling mats or vests. Never leave them in a parked car, as temperatures can quickly rise to dangerous levels. Are pugs good therapy dogs? Yes, pugs can make excellent therapy dogs due to their friendly, affectionate, and gentle nature. They are often used in hospitals, nursing homes, schools, and other settings to provide comfort and emotional support to people in need. How do I stop my pug from snoring? While you may not be able to completely eliminate your pug's snoring, there are some steps you can take to reduce it. Keep your pug at a healthy weight, provide them with a comfortable sleeping environment, and avoid exposing them to potential irritants such as smoke or dust. Are pugs good travelers? Pugs can be good travelers, but it's important to take their special needs into consideration. Make sure they have access to fresh water and regular bathroom breaks during car trips, and consider using a travel crate or harness to keep them safe and secure. Are pugs good for first-time dog owners? Yes, pugs can be suitable for first-time dog owners, especially if they are willing to put in the time and effort to train and socialize them properly. However, it's essential to research the breed thoroughly and be prepared for their specific needs and quirks. Do pugs have a lot of health problems? Pugs are a brachycephalic breed, which means they have flat faces and short noses, making them prone to certain health problems such as respiratory issues and overheating. They are also susceptible to obesity, skinfold dermatitis, and other health conditions. Regular veterinary checkups and responsible breeding practices can help mitigate the risk of these health problems. Conclusion Pugs may be small in size, but they have big personalities and even bigger hearts. Whether you're drawn to their adorable appearance or their playful disposition, owning a pug can be a rewarding experience. By addressing these frequently asked questions, we hope to provide valuable insights into the world of pugs and help you better understand and care for these beloved canine companions. Whether you're a seasoned pug enthusiast or considering bringing one into your life for the first time, may your journey with these delightful dogs be filled with joy, laughter, and endless cuddles. Are you thinking about getting a pug? Let us know what you decide in the comments below. And if you know someone who's thinking about getting a pug, please share this with them. If you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel.
Otherwise, have a great day. Thanks for watching.